Hey everybody, uh, Tim here. What is up? And I just figured I would go ahead and make this video as quickly as possible. I'm going to attempt to put a new and extended mag release in my Glock 27. This is the new one right here, and I've got to take the old one out. And before I get started, I kind of want to show you real quick what I'm going to be able, what I got to do here, because I don't think with this camera, and I don't have the, the lighting to get down in there very well. Let's have a look real quick. I've already taken the slide off, and of course, no magazine in it. But if you can see, you know, maybe not so good with that angle. But I'll be working through the top right here of the frame. But let's see if you if I can get you down in here where you can see. Uh, da, 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 da. Not working out well too for me. But do you see that middle spring on the right hand side? And I'll kind of point to it with the screwdriver. Right there, it's touching the very top of it. You see the long metal little spring there. Now that is uh, attached inside the mag release that is currently in it, the stock mag release. Well, I'll show you an example of what I'm going to do. And pretend I've cut off the back, the back strap, or the back half, let's say. Say I've cut this block down right through here. And so you're looking, you know, straight through here at the front, you know, the handle. And I'll show you what you're seeing, or how you're going to be looking at it like that. And let's see if you can see here. You're looking at it like that. Of course, that's the part you push in right there. Now this metal spring, let's just say this toothpick is that metal spring. You've got this little notch here that the spring sits in that slides back. And you've got that little groove right there. If you can see where it's sitting in. Well, you use a flathead screwdriver and you got to be able to get under that a little bit to push it back to the right and with the blade of that screwdriver underneath it a little bit to be able to lift it out. And you slide it back out to the, to the right and there you go. Then just kind of reverse the process. So let's see if I can do that real quick. I know you can't see down in there very well where I've got to be way down in there. Well, you'll have an idea here in just a second. I'll make sure I can see there. Now you'll, a couple times here, you'll hear it. Once I get underneath it, I'll hear it pop out. Am I using the right screwdriver? No, I'm not. I'm using one a little too wide of a blade. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, normally I have a lot more sunlight because it's usually a little more sunny. There we go. Now if you'll be able to see, flip it back over. And now you can kind of see how it's on top of it and ready to slide the old one out. See it coming out through there? There we go. Now to reverse the process, I'm going to have to use a screwdriver again to lift up that spring in order to get the new one in there. Make sure I've got the right one, the extended one. Now back in here. Now this is kind of a tricky process and I don't know if I'm going to really be able to get it on camera. I've only got two hands. So I've got to get under that spring. And can you see down in there to see the spring sitting on top of the blade of the screwdriver? I'm going to try to leave that in while I put the new one, or slide the new one down in there. And where'd the new one go? There we are. And I'll get it started. And there we go. Slid right in, in the spring. Can you see right down there? I'm getting some glare on it so you can see it's sitting on top of it. Okay, it is in place. See right down there above my fingernail, if you can see down in there. Now let's see if I can move the spring over to get back into that notch. I'm trying to get you where you guys can still see it. I'm doing this while looking through a camera is not the easiest thing in the world. Let's see, what am I doing?
There's not much light here. Bear with me, guys. I tell you, when you need something to go right, it just never wants to, does it? Okay. Okay, she's in. If you can see down in there, she's back in place. Give it a push. Let's push the mag release, see it bend. It's back in the notch. And she's working fine. If you see right here, here's the new one. And it does stick out quite a bit further. And there you go. <laughs> Let's put the slide back on. put this in and adjust the camera a little of course just the reason for the extended mag release you don't I'd usually with the uh, the stock mag release that I have to adjust my hand a little to get my thumb down to have enough force to push down and release the magazine with this I'm holding it just as I fire and as you see it comes out well done now I just have to test it and wear it you know in the holster and uh, see if my body's gonna push on the mag release and cause the magazine to accidentally fall out. I've heard stories of that happening, and hopefully it won't happen to me. <laughs> but we'll find out. Um, while I've got you here, I kind of want to do a couple of shout-outs, because this mag release, uh, it was given to me by a fellow YouTuber named Big Tex Rebel. B-I-G-T-X-R-E-B-E-L. He sent that to me, and he's a fellow Texan from Fort Worth. So everybody go check him out. Uh, he's a good guy. He, him and his uh, lovely wife, they are very cool people. And I'm going to give a couple other shout-outs. iSpy0099, or as some people might say, iSpy0099. Shaken, not stirred. Uh, one Abominable One, the number one, A-B-O-M-I-N-A-B-L-E, and again, the number one. So one abominable one. And if you like the AR platform, the AR platform, go check this guy out. He is very well spoken. He knows the AR platform very well. And you can hear some or see some vids on some stories from his uh, M6 from I believe it's LWRC. Uh, great guy, uh, Casper at the Lazy Spoiled Kitty. Just a really cool guy. Everybody go check him out. And Uncle Cal. Uh, has sent me a uh, message wanting me to do an everyday carry video, a serious everyday carry video. So I plan on doing that at some point, a real one. And if you guys even remember, I uh, did one of those early on when I was making videos. And it wasn't a serious one. It was, you know, kind of a joke one. Remember I had the firecrackers and the tactical medieval mace. So I figured, oh, I don't have a real one. I'll go ahead and do one be kind of cool because I enjoy seeing everybody else, you know, what they're carrying. So, and, oh, yeah, uh, my contest, it ends tomorrow, my 100 sub contest. That ends tomorrow, and I will do a drawing and pick the winner tomorrow for the 20 bucks, cold hard cash, and the mystery prize that comes with it, or prizes. So if you haven't sent me your joke, uh, just a joke, any kind of joke, anything goes, can be very sick or gross or can be just... You know, very calm and peaceful, whatever you choose to do. Uh, anyway, guys, I think that's about it. I wanted to get this done kind of quick before I had to go back to work. You know how that goes. Uh, never get time to relax. So anyway, guys, uh, I guess I will see you tomorrow when we do the drawing. Later.